Hi, my name's Jilly and I'm on Atkins. Now we've just had Christmas and New Year and many of us have started New Year resolutions of starting a low carb diet. But February is fast approaching and that means Valentine's Day is just around the corner. So there could be a lot of temptations in the store such as boxes of chocolates. So I decided to come up with a recipe that we too can enjoy on Valentine's Day. So today I'm going to make for you some low carb heart shaped chocolate tart. Now for the base, the base is really simple. It's the same base as what I made for my lemon tart, but of course I'm going to be splitting it into smaller portions. So first you want to set your oven to 180 degrees. Then in my bowl here I have 130 grams of butter. To this I'm going to add 220 grams of ground almonds, 6 tablespoons of Splenda, which isn't that much because the almonds are naturally sweet anyway. and just a pinch of salt. Then you just mix all these ingredients together to make a bread like a bread crumb like mixture. And you can use your fingers if you want because it's much easier just to crumb them all together. But I'm going to use a wooden spoon. And when you've completely mixed your ingredients together, you're then going to add one egg, which I have here already beaten, and mix this all in together. Now this mixture will be very sticky. It's completely different to your usual pastry dough, where you make a mixture and you put it in the fridge after loads of kneading. and it's takes a long time. Oh, this is just almost like making biscuits. It's like a biscuit base. And then you want to line your cases. So I'm using these little red heart silicon cases which can go in the oven. And I have six of these. But I think this mixture could actually serve eight. But if I have leftovers then I'll just put it aside and it, the, the dough can be frozen and used at a later time. So you just get some of your mixture, put it into your case, and squeeze it down and up the sides. I quite like using these silicon cases because they're quite easy to mould to. So they kind of form around your hands and they form with the dough. Just like that. And then after that, you take another egg, which I've always already beaten, and you're just going to brush this on the top, just like you would of a normal pastry. And then you continue doing that with the rest, rest of your hearts, and then you want to put them in the oven for 20 minutes. And then after 20 minutes, I'll come back and show you how to make the chocolate filling. So I've taken my little hearts out of the oven and left them to cool. And what's really nice about these silicon cases at that is that the pastries just fall out really easily of the cases. So you can just take them out and put them down. And then for the filling, what I've done is I've heated 255 millilitres of double cream with about a tablespoon of Splenda and a few drops of vanilla extract. And I've melted in the micro mi microwave 225 grams of Cavalier dark chocolate, which is three bars, with a tablespoon of butter, which just helps to break down the chocolate in the microwave. Now, it's quite a specific amount, but that's just because of the size of the bars come in, they're 85 grams each, and you have to use the same amount of cream as to what you're using of chocolate. So you just want to add your chocolate to your heated cream, and then we're going to mix this all together. And that's really all there is to it. So you just heat the chocolate in the microwave, heat the cream, splendor and vanilla on the hob, and then just mix them together. But you can, if you want, do the whole thing on the hob. But it was just easier for this presentation to do it this way. And there are recipes where you use eggs for chocolate tarts, but I think this way is really the best. It's quite like a ganache filling, and I think this way is the yummiest. So we just stir this all in until it's completely incorporated. 
and be quite careful because of course the cream could just spill everywhere across the sides just like that and so you keep stirring slowly until it's all completely melted and it's really important that you do use the same measurement of cream as you do of the chocolate so if you're using 300 grams of chocolate you use 300 millilitres of cream because otherwise the mixture will be too runny if you use too much cream or too thick if you use too much chocolate but I think really it would be better for it to be too thick than for it to be too runny because if it's too runny it won't set okay, this is starting to look really nice and dark and shiny If you want to, you don't have to add the extra splendor because the chocolate is, of course, already sweet. But because I'm using dark chocolate, I think it's quite nice to add that extra sweetness because of the bitterness in the chocolate. Okay, now this is all completely melted. And now all you do is so simple. You just fill up your heart. So I have this one here, I'm going to fill it up, right to the top, and that's it, you can just put it in the plate and carry on doing the rest. And then when you've done them all, you're going to put them in the fridge for an hour. So when it's been an hour, I'll can show you how I'm going to serve them. So I've taken my chocolate tarts out the fridge and I've served them with a strawberry sliced up and a little bit of double cream. You can use any berry fruit you want though, such as raspberries or blueberries. And I also had quite a lot of mixture left over, both for the base and for the chocolate filling. So you could probably make 8 to 10 tarts if you had enough cases. Now these two I have here, I've actually made for my mum and dad, who have been married now for 43 years. So come here. <laughs> Here you go, there's one for you. And happy Valentine's Day. And from all of us here, we hope that you have a lovely Valentine's Day too.